Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos and this is not a drill. For the first time, we've actually got some legitimate evidence towards a DLC 5 in Black Ops 3 and by this stage it is almost confirmed with the evidence that we have gotten and I'm going to go through with that with you guys at all today. So I just wanted to thank before we start this video, the gaming revolution, he had an unknown source that he is not ready to reveal as um, it could... Uh, he could get in a lot of trouble, the guy that gave the gaming revolution all the information uh, by Activision. So he has kept himself anonymous and he is definitely a reliable source. So if you don't believe in the gaming revolution or whatever, I'm going to change your mind right now, okay? So this guy right here, he is a very reliable shower of information, okay? So... He basically predicted all of the uh, Zetsubu no Shima. He predicted all the um, all the uh, Wonder Weapons. He uh KT4, Masume, all that stuff. He predicted all of that as he got some uh, sources that gave him information for that. He also predicted everything from Gord Crovey. He even was able to uh, get the Ace of Spades intro cutscene song. He got a source to give him that as well. So, he also states in his video, which I recommend you guys to go check this out before you actually check out mine, and then come back to mine after because I'm getting a lot of my information from him. So, go subscribe to him if you haven't already and go check out his video if you have already but he is saying that this information here is more reliable than all the previous information that he's had about something so I'm predicting that this guy has worked at Treyarch or worked at Activision and he's actually in the know and he knows what is going on and all that so before we get into this video guys i want to say this is not clickbait and i'm a basically 99.9 percent .9 sure that we're going to be getting a dlc 5 in black ops 3 and this is not like my other videos where i'm actually stating evidence uh, i'm actually stating like theories and belief i mean on this video i'm actually stating 100 percent evidence so ladies and gentlemen we're going to pop into this video right now make sure you subscribe to my channel also go ahead subscribe to the gaming revolution i can thank him a lot man and he's come up with all this information and I'll be showing you guys uh, basically all the information that we have so far on this and this is absolutely crazy so all you people over there I don't care really if you don't believe me but I'm telling you right now you're gonna want to believe me go check out gaming revolutions video as well and if you want to just tell me a comment in this video whatever I'll try and answer you as best as I can but uh, this will probably be my last DLC 5 video until we actually get some official information from Treyarch but I've got possible release dates I've got everything you really need to know so far and let's get into this right now so I'm gonna start off by saying this is definitely going to be coming to Black Ops 3 and um, I, as I said before I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is coming this is from a very reliable source as I said the gaming revolution he's gotten information from other people about Gorod Krovi, Zetsubu no Shima and Revelations so he is a very reliable source and he's got a good way of finding out all this information so um, I also want to say to you guys just keep noticing so what the bigger YouTube, uh, bigger YouTube is actually saying about this, okay? So there's been some interesting tweets from the bigger YouTubers out there. So they actually know that there is going to be a DLC five, and they're discreetly showing information about DLC five on their Twitter pages. So Codename Pizza actually put out a tweet saying, uh, "Light for the dream of DLC five to come true." So it was just a weird. He had a custom make of the DLC five, like what it looks like, and he had the four maps there that are confirmed to be remastered by this guy, as I'm going to get into uh, in the future. But he actually had a tweet out there. So you just listen in their videos and their tweets, uh, big YouTubes like Dalek and Codename Pizza, because I have a feeling that they know really what's going on here. Okay, maybe they got the same source as uh, the gaming revolution and I'm pretty sure they did but they haven't made any videos out on it yet but just stay tuned for that okay so so far the information that we've got is that DLC 5 only contains remake remakes and there is four uh, confirmed ones that we have yet and that is the mob of the dead remake Origins Remake, Ascension Remake, and Moon Remake. So, we have actually gotten a remastered Moon loading screen and a remastered Ascension loading screen yet we haven't had an Origins or Mother Dead remake loading screen but we still have five comic books that are yet to be released 
so maybe we could get them in that and in our comic books that we've gotten so far we've had two loading screens and one of them obviously being the essential one the other one has been nuketown so they definitely could be more than four maps being remastered we're not sure about that at all but there is definitely a possibility that there could be more as i said before there is another five comic books that are going to be released from treyarch so if they are going to release a new loading screen with all that that will lead up to about seven maps being remastered in total so I'm not sure exactly how much these maps are going to be, but it is going to also be not part of the season pass. So if you're a season pass owner, you're going to have to go out and buy this once again. But honestly, I think it'll be worth the price if that does happen. So you may, you may still be wondering right now uh, how they managed to really make these remakes when they were so busy during the year working on all the maps during the DLC season. Well, if you actually listen to what Jason Blundell was saying, he actually um, said that Revelations was released very early and they finished it very early. And also you could really tell that Zetsubu no Shima was very rushed as that that's why there's so many glitches in that map, probably because they were putting a lot more of their time into to these remakes and um Z Zetsubu no Shima, they probably didn't put as much effort in that map as they would have liked. So this could actually be thought as a bad thing because you actually want, uh, you don't want them wasting their time trying to put forward uh, time on this uh, on this project here, on the remastered map project. I would rather them have all their concentration into Zetsubu no Shima. Maybe they could have made that map really good, but I'm guessing that they did start doing this during Zetsubu no Shima, and then obviously they obviously rushed that map, and then Jason Blundell, he stated himself that they finished Revelations a lot earlier than expected really, and that would have gave them a lot more time to be putting these maps forward. So that's a pretty convincing thing right there of how they found the time to do it now i'm going to get into you guys with the date of this that uh it's apparently coming out so the release date was originally meant to be uh during the american summer so around june it was meant to be around there but because of the failure of infinite warfare zombies uh of raven the redwoods i think that they are actually going to bring it forward to april as uh said by another anonymous source that apparently they're going to bring it back to april and if they do bring it back to april it is actually going to be between Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC 2 and DLC 3. So I doubt that Activision are going to want to interfere with the Infinite Warfare Zombies like season. So I'm pretty sure they're going to bring it around the DLC 2 and DLC 3 or in between Infinite Warfare Zombies DLCs or after the Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC season. But they are saying it's going to be April, which should make sense because it's going to be, be, be between uh, Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC 2 and DLC 3 so that'd be a really prime time because Activision they really do want to get the profit and the best time to do that would be between DLC 2 and DLC 3 uh, once again so it's not interfering with Infinite Warfare Zombies season and they're still going to get the money from that but they're also going to go ahead and get the money uh, for the um, remastered maps and the dlc5 so guys if this is not enough evidence for you i want you to stay tuned because there is going to be more coming out soon but this is all we've got so far this is from a very reliable source i'm thinking that it's from um a, a treyarch employee which i don't think it is but maybe an activision employee but it's someone definitely very close to the company that knows i've been told some information that they are kind of like a treyarch employee whether they're uh, very close with the company or not i'm not sure about that but guys i want you to believe me if you are a believer make sure you do like and tell me in the comment sections that you are because i really do have faith that this dlc will come and i'm just waiting to see all the other people that have left zombies to come right back to it in this dlc season and i wondered why Bl jason blundell has been so calm throughout this whole experience and it's because he's got a little trip uh trick under his sleeve and he knows that this DLC 5 is going to bring the zombies community back together. So Jason Blundell is a very smart man and now he is the co-head of uh, the Treyarch company. He knows what's going on and he's got that little DLC 5 trick up his sleeve. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end up the video.
video. I hope you did go on to enjoy, but I hope you did understand all the stuff I was saying in this. Once again, this is very reliable, and this is not just theory. This is, uh, so far, what we know is concrete information about this, and I'm probably not going to make any more DLC 5 videos unless we get some more amazing information or if we get some official information, trailers, etc etc and all of that stuff so i'm really looking forward to dlc 5 in black ops 3 zombies which is looking very 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 likely at this point and it's looking much more likely than it was and the cloudiness around dlc 5 is now starting to go away so anyway ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you for watching this video if you did go on to enjoy make sure you leave a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to my channel and go check out the gaming revolution as well for this amazing information that he somehow got from this anonymous source. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all in the next one and peace out.